What's going on everybody, welcome back. And we're gonna talk some EDC stuff today, specifically the changes I kind of make in those cooler months. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and turn the notifications on with that bell icon because apparently some people have been shadow unsubscribed from my channel and I've gotten messages from several people saying somehow they became unsubscribed and the notifications weren't coming through. So don't know how that happened, but I'm assuming it's because of the type of channel that I have. So go, go ahead and double check those settings for me. Now back to that EDC stuff, when it comes to weather and EDC and how we're able to dress depending on the climate we're in, things can change from time to time. And that can be a good or a bad thing. Now, if you're the kind of person that does change your EDC to go with the weather and obviously the style of dress, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you change because I am really curious. Personally, myself, when it comes to the cooler months, I carry a few additional things on my person rather than in the bag that I carry with me year round. Now that bag that I carry around with me is going to be my DDT Assassin Sling Bag. Now I have done a review on this. It's a great little budget bag and you can put a good amount of stuff in here. Obviously you don't want to overload it because it's a sling bag and try to carry it around because it's going to get uncomfortable. Now I will link the video down below of when I showed this bag and did the review on it and what's in here. A couple things have been added to it at this point. One being I put some nasal pharyngeals, some NPAs in there, a couple of hyphen vents, couple sets more of additional gloves. And then I changed that light that I had on there to my Olight M2R Warrior Pro that I was sent to do a review on. I know some people out there think I don't like Olight. It's not necessarily that. I just think that there's an intended purpose for everything and I wouldn't necessarily run one on a weapon system. But for something like this, I do really think they're a fairly decent light for that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I have on me right now, everything down to my watch. And then I'm gonna kind of stand up and show you the outfit I'm wearing and kind of show you, you know, when you're wearing normal clothing, the kind of stuff that you can have on you should you decide, you know, whether your training and experience level is there, whether it's with your uh, sidearm or whether it's with medical stuff. So basically what I have in me right now is I have a full trauma kit with hyphen vents, NPAs, trauma shears, gloves, markers, tourniquet. I've got uh, obviously my wallet and my car keys. I have two flashlights on me. I have uh, my cell phone on me and I have a appendix rig, kind of that sidecar style design sidekick. It's actually the Gerber holsters one, which is an amazing holster. Glock 45 with a plus five extension in it. And then a, an additional 17 round magazine. Uh, and obviously my, my watch here. So that's a pretty good amount of stuff to have on your person. But being that it's the winter months, I'm generally gonna be dressed like this. So I can get away with carrying a few additional things on me, whereas in the summer when we're wearing very light shirts and probably very basic shorts, some of that stuff may have to reside in that bag that I carry with me, or I actually have to downsize to say like a Glock 43 or 43X, or maybe something you know around that size. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this lens out so you can get a good view of what I'm wearing and get an idea of what is going on, and then we'll kind of check these out one by one. So basic set of clothes for me right here. I'll back up a little further. You know, a shirt is not overly baggy, pants not overly baggy. You can kind of see what I got going on. And this is pretty much how I would dress during the winter months. So like I said, I've got that, uh, we'll start from feet up because on my uh, ankle right here is where I actually have that med kit that I talked about. Now this specific one, go ahead and sit back down for you guys. Boom. This one is actually from Riker Nylon. I'm still evaluating this, I'm still reviewing this, I haven't finished it up yet, but like I said, I've got some Leatherman Raptor trauma shears, probably not the best ones to have in here, but it's just what I've been walking around with. SOFT wide marker, two uh, NPAs, I've got two hyphen vents on the inside pouch in there. I've got a couple pairs of gloves jammed down in there, and I actually still have some space where I could fit other things in there, but this is probably going to be what most people maximum are gonna carry on their person like that, unless they're just like, I don't know, carrying all kinds of super stuff with them. So moving on up, we'll go my right pocket right here. Got my little CRKT M1610Z right there. Now it's a smaller knife because I don't necessarily need a big old Bowie pig sticker when I'm walking around everywhere. Uh, I'm gonna put that to the side, but I used to carry around something like the size of this, you know, big old AK-47 by cold steels compared to that. I never really needed a blade that big, so why would I carry it? Yeah, it looks cool, it's a nice knife, but it just takes up a lot of real estate in your jeans. Also in the same pocket, 
I've got my little micro stream from Streamlight. These are great little lights. This is the rechargeable version. Two brightness settings on it. Awesome, super sleek design. Just easy to work with and carry on you, whether it's on a bag or on your person because of its size. And I've also got my keys in that same pocket. And I'm lucky enough to where my vehicle has uh, one of those emitters style keys. So I generally never have to take these out of my pocket, but on that keychain, I've also got that uh, Olight 1R EOS. That thing is awesome. That little light, I've had this for a while. You can see mm, kind of how banged up that thing is right there, but I've had it for a long time, works awesome. I use it every day, literally every day when I'm coming home or going to work, checking out my mailbox or something on my property. It's got a couple different settings and it's pretty cool little setup. Mother pocket here. You can have my phone, Galaxy uh, cell phone by Samsung with that unicorn beetle sup case. These cases are awesome, they're like 20 bucks and they absolutely work. Um, obviously, we're gonna go to my rig right now, which like I said, is going to be that Gerber holster. So they get my audio cord out the way. Now in here, like I said, this is a Glock 45, as you can all see right here. SLR Magwell Tyrant Plus 5 extension, RMR TLR1 HL with Ameriglo sights on it. Not the smallest, not the biggest setup, and then obviously that spare mag to go with that. Now these Gerber holsters, these are my favorite holsters. The craftsmanship on these is literally like none other. Very, very comfortable design with that flex panel in there. Great, great setup. Now, I know somebody out there is gonna bring up well, what about your CZP-10C optics ray that you're such a fan of? Well, yeah, I've got that too. And I do still carry it from time to time. It's just that's my work setup, so it's easy to go from work to home to everywhere I go and carry the same thing. But that CZP-10C is obviously, you guys know, one of my more favorite range hammers. So I've got it set up the same way. It's just in this one, it's in a T1C holster. It's also a very, very nice setup. And I do carry it from time to time. It's just that 45 MOS is just something that I carry with me every day. So I figured why not just carry it all the time. So I got that holster for it. Now one of the other things that I don't think a lot of people think about or talk about is carrying some form of like hydro flask or tumbler with you because this is the big one, the 64 ounce job, but this thing saved my butt when I had to change a tire in the middle of summer coming back from California on the highway. And had I not had this big thing of water, I could have been in some serious trouble out there working in that sun. So definitely something to think about, add to your EDC is just the tumbler. Take it with you, fill it up in the morning, throw it in the car, put a little ice in there. And it's gonna stay cool for most of the day or winter time, just don't put any ice in it and take it with you. So we're gonna go ahead and get into each of these items up close so you guys can see them and kind of determine if it's something that maybe you're lacking, maybe you need, or maybe you just have a completely different idea. And if you do, I would really like to know in the comments down below. But you can see that was a pretty decent amount of stuff that I'm able to carry pretty comfortably in a just a normal outfit that I would wear pretty much anywhere. None of that stuff really interferes with what I would be doing when I'm dressed the way that I am. So I will leave links for all that stuff down below. If you're interested in it, you can check that stuff out. If it's the 2A related stuff, that can't be posted on YouTube. So check that first link in the description and it'll take you where all the 2A stuff is posted. But pretty much everything that you're gonna see there is you know friendly to YouTube and you can get it on Amazon or whatever. I'll leave those links for you. Those are the affiliate links. So if you do decide to purchase anything, I would appreciate that because it does help out the channel. So we're gonna go ahead and get into all that stuff so you can check it out right now. All right, let's check all this stuff out. We're gonna get rid of some of the big items first. First of all being the belt. Now, if you guys pay attention to the channel, you know I like the Blue Alpha stuff. It is made in America. This is that hybrid Cobra buckle belt. And these things are absolutely awesome because they fit through normal size jean belt loops. Great amount of adjustability here. Solid, high quality product. You can't go wrong with these. So go ahead and get that thing out of the way. Let's talk about this trauma pack. Now, like I said, not done with the full review on this yet, but pretty good little setup. Uh, I've got a couple of nasal pharyngeals here. I'm not gonna unpack everything because I have it set in here exactly how I want it, but just kind of tell you what's in the pockets. So the NPAs are in here. I got two of them in there. Got my marker right in here. Got some gloves shoved down into the side of it like that. My SOFT wide, those Raptor trauma shears right there, which are pretty good, just a little large for this style of a setup. And then shoved back in here, I've got a couple of those Hyphen vents 
um, for chest wounds or you know upper thoracic wounds. So great little setup. Has kind of an extension bungee panel there, depending on the size of your ankles. But good, just haven't done the full review. Nice setup though, we'll get rid of that. Now let's kind of get into the meat and potatoes of what is actually on my body. Let's go ahead and take the watch first and we'll kind of move some of this stuff along. So standard Luminox watch, I just really like the Luminox stuff. It's, it's good, it's simple, it's not overly expensive. Can take a beating. Uh, it's got tritium around there so you can look at it without having to press buttons. Very solid setup, you know, kind of a color that I like. Cool watch, good to go. Talk about that knife here. This is obviously, I didn't do that very good. Little CRKT, Columbia River Knife and Tool, and this is the M1610Z. This is just a nice little blade, you know, good tonneau blade, serrated. It's good. It's got that locking mechanism right there so it won't close. You actually have to disengage that before you can push the liner lock. So you can see right there how that lock works. This is a great little blade, and let's just face it, guys, for the most part, we don't need these massive blades on us all the time. So we can really get away with something like this, which is a decent blade, not gonna take up a lot of space, made by a quality branded company. Keys, standard Nissan key, stupid little silicone case. But what's on here is that Olight EOS 1R. Um, this is just a great little light. I mean, you can see it's just all the ionization's coming off. This light's been in my pocket and thrown around and dropped so many times. Couple of different settings. First one is real low, like five lumens, then you can turn it all the way on. It's 100 lumens. Great little setup, and it works, and it was like 19 bucks or something. Good light. Now, the Streamlight MicroStream is a little bit more of an expensive light than, say, that Olight. It is rechargeable via micro USB that you can see right there. But this is, in my opinion, a more quality light than the Olight stuff. Streamlight is a proven brand. Some people often say there's Surefire Streamlight and there's just everything else. It's a really solid light. It is a really good light. You got two power modes on it. Um, you can go just to hold like this and it's gonna give you, I can't remember how many, I think it's like 40 lumens. And then if you press the button twice, you're gonna go full brightness. So definitely a great little setup. It's bright enough for what you need. I don't need an 800 lumen little light like this. This is something to where I'm just poking around, I'm looking for something, and I need either that low light or I can double tap it and I can get the full stream like that. But good quality has that stream light name. The Popov leather wallet stuff, absolutely love these. These wallets are top notch. That Chromexel leather, the Horween, I think it's called Horween or something like that, the stitching and all that. It's just really great stuff, and these are the kind of wallets that will literally last a lifetime, so they're worth paying that price for. Just a Galaxy cell phone and that Unicorn Beetle SUP case. These cases are absolutely awesome. As you can see, this one's just had the tar beat out of it. It's banged up, scratched up all over. A um, couple years old, holding together very nicely. Now let's talk about the holster and everything that's in it. Obviously, that Glock 45 MOS. Streamlight TLR1HL, that is the big boy. It's 800 lumens. The new version is gonna be 1,000, which is just gonna be wicked bright and Candela's high off the charts too. Fairly stock setup. I took off my uh, Tyrant mag release because work said I couldn't carry that. Um, this magazine has the plus five from Tyrant on there. Super easy things here to work with. You know that little push pin right there is how they install in that bottom corner. Got it on an ETS mag and this is my off duty mag here. Got that SLR Magwell, Trigicon RMR, Ameriglow Night Sights. This is great because it's a work setup, a home setup, an EDC setup, all in one for me. And it's a system that I really like and that I trust. Typical spare Gen 5 magazine. Forward, obviously, you can see everything here is unloaded at this time. And then that Gerber Precision Holster. I'm telling you, if you didn't see my review on these, you need to watch it. The craftsmanship on these, is it's just really top notch. It's like no other. Um, even, you know, it just is. It's just a great holster, extremely nice, very form fit. Uh, the fact that it uh, is moldable with that webbing in there, actually that's a section of leather. And you can see it's got a nice little cross embossed in there because they're a Christian company. That's pretty awesome. So really good stuff here, guys. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these items in here. These are generally 
what I will carry nonstop year round. It's just a matter of where I'm carrying them. Sometimes if I'm wearing ultra light, I might put this on my bag and I might have these in my bag because I'm carrying it everywhere. But you know, again, always think about that water too. <laughs> these big old hydro flasks are pretty cool. You can get them in any size, but you definitely need to always think about hydration wherever you are. Winter or summer, you can hydrate or you can dehydrate pretty quickly in either temperature. So I hope you guys uh, liked seeing this stuff up close. We're gonna go ahead and get back up uh, in front of the camera here and finish this up. So as you all saw up close, that is a pretty good amount of stuff, but it's still streamlined and it's, it's not big to the point where you're gonna look like some weirdo with your pockets bulging out everywhere. And I'm not the kind of guy that likes to run around wearing tactical pants or cargo pants all the time. So you've got to look for things that are going to fit and suit your needs, but are also going to fit the clothing you're wearing. You know, like that light, I can actually pretty much wear that year round because it is so small. The one that's on my keychain, that's been on that keychain for the better part of two years now. So there's a lot of those things that you can get away with, especially now that light technology has gotten so small, where you used to have to carry some massive light with you. Now it's really streamlined and you can get a good setup that's pretty budget friendly like that stream light that's going to be very easy to conceal on your person. Now, as far as the medical stuff, you may not be comfortable. You may not have the training or experience to use any of that. Me personally, I, I do, so I choose to carry that stuff with me. One, because I, I would always want to provide aid, and if something ever happened to me, I want that medical stuff right there so either I can use it on me or somebody else could use it on me should something ever happen. Now, as far as your choice of whatever you're going to carry for self-defense, that's completely up to you. You can see that I carried a very small knife, but I carried a pretty decent amount of ammo and everything else. Sometimes you may only be able to carry a knife with you wherever you are, and you may want to go with a bigger blade. That's completely up to you. Or you may want to go with a fixed blade or something like that, or you may want to go with a whole bunch of blades. I know guys that carry two or three knives at a time on them because they're more knife guys than they are gun guys. So it's really up to you. But I just wanted to kind of show you this and give you guys an idea of what you can really conceal on you just wearing basic clothing. Now, if you're a guy that wears, you know, showing off a little bit of that muscle and you're wearing tighter shirts, maybe you're wearing some of those skinny jeans, probably not going to be able to get away with a lot of that stuff. And you may have to carry more off body in something like the sling bag right here. And that's going to be completely up to you. But these are just kind of the bare minimum items that I carry with me day in and day out, no matter where I am, no matter if it's in my bag or on my body. I hope that helped you guys out. If you, like I said, if you're interested in anything, leave all those links down below for you and you can check those things out two way stuff check the first link in the description go ahead and make sure you are subscribed to that channel because like i said at the beginning for some odd reason people are getting shadow unsubscribed from the channel and i'm assuming because it has to do with things like this what we're talking about here but go ahead and check those out if you guys are interested or anything else or have any questions leave me a comment down below and i will see you guys on the next one